I feel like crap, and I don't want to stop her from having as much out of life as she can. She's very happy at home, and I give her gifts, I cook for her, and I spend all my time off work with her, taking her out and doing things. Welcome to the Holland Halls of Magic's Monologue. Quick and dirty, my crazy for not wanting my fiance to talk to a guy she's attracted to. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of the keys to today's tome of wisdom and knowledge. So let's dive right in. She met a co-worker a couple of weeks ago and she told me he made her feel some kind of way when he talks to her. I told her that crushes pass. You meet different people in life, and you will run into people you have chemistry with. I asked her what she plans to do if she gets a crush when talking to him, and she said she's going to stay with me. I just found out she's planning on hanging out outside of work with him to study a similar interest. She was open with me about her intent to hang out with him at some point. It's an innocent intent for the two years I've known her. She's been a very innocent person. It's driving me crazy because spending time with him outside of work is a great way to start getting closer. I feel like crap and I don't want to stop her from having as much fun out of life as she can, too. She's very happy at home, and I give her gifts, cook for her, and spend all my time off with her, taking her out and doing new things. Slap to the back of the head. Pay attention, guys. There is a principle called giving too much certainty. There's nothing wrong with doing nice things for your woman. However, there's crossing the line into becoming a nice guy and simpering. When a woman has had too much certainty in a relationship, this is when the crap tests increase. They often stop seeing you as the prize and the disrespect starts. Did you all note how he goes out of his way to serve her? His actions are putting her on a pedestal. And when you put a woman on a pedestal, she's looking down upon you. She's not looking up at you. On an evolutionary level, women want a man they can look up to. This is why they seek men taller than themselves not just for physical protection, but it's an emotional and spiritual thing as well. It's okay to do good things for her. However, this kind of guy is the one who ends up losing a woman's respect and then she ends up cheating on him. If a woman loses respect for you, she cannot love you the way you need to lo be loved. Never forget, if you treat her like a celebrity, eventually she will treat you like a fan. She has no other friends, even though she tries to be friends with a lot of people. But he's the one consistently giving her attention. In other words, she's feeding off his attention and validation which is crap to the majority of women. This isn't good. Now let me give her credit for one thing. At least she told him about it. However, the fact that she did not, on her own, cut this situation off tells you she will be susceptible to this in the future. Heaven helps you if you have a fight or she has some expectation, reasonable or not, that's not met, or just gets bored and thinks, mm, she can do better. This is the kind of woman 
Martin women mindset that will eventually cheat on you. When she does, she'll take the house, the kid, half of everything, along with child support and alimony. You'll be sitting in your apartment, like countless other guys before you, wondering, huh, where did I go wrong? Whether you see it or not, the disrespect has started. In the comments below, if you agree the disrespect has already started, and this won't end well if he stays in the relationship, type a hell yeah and give me a thumbs up. Update. I told her I was still upset about the whole thing. She has cut off contact with him and will not be speaking to him unless I'm comfortable with it. She also said she will not be hanging around anyone she has chemistry with. Thank you all for caring advice. All right. This gentleman is how it starts. She felt comfortable telling him she had the hots for another guy. Then she goes out and hangs out with him. The blue-haired crowd will attempt to gaslight him into thinking he's insecure. No, he's not. This literally is the beginning of a potential threat to the relationship. As a man, you must set boundaries and be prepared to walk away if necessary. Dude, I'm telling you, Walk away now. Do not marry this woman. If you do, I will bet money she'll be stepping out on you in five to seven years if you even make it that long. If you found value in this video, please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that bell, and share this with at least three friends who really need to learn from my channel. If you didn't like this video, then I thank you for watching this long and for stopping by. I suggest you check out my other videos and find something you do like. Send me your personal relationship stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the link to stories at magicsmonologue.com. This way others can learn from your victories, joys, defeats, as we work to not only support each other, but to help each other become better men. This is the best way to help grow this channel and support me. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys, check out the occasional meme, or subscribe to my local Rumble, Twitter, Getter, and Gab. Through this, you're leading by example, encouraging other men to rise higher, ensuring you live a life of passion, purpose, and prosperity. Until next time. Thank you for watching. Before you run off, check out these other videos, and then give them a thumbs up and a comment. This tells the algorithm to share my videos with more people and this support helps me make more content for you.